This is how this man destroyed many through peace because he's telling you this, uh, this, uh, this is the, the day that Christ was born, so you're supposed to worship this day or you're not going to heaven. That's a peaceful thing to just tell somebody that and to tell somebody you love them, so you're telling them this, but it's a lie, man. Oh, shit. That made me think of a scripture in songs, man. Alright. Go to Psalms chapter 55. Psalms chapter 55, verse 20. It says, He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them, he had broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But they'll come to you, especially these so-called Christians, these fake Christians. We're the real Christians. They're not. We follow Christ or Yahweh Shout. They don't. They follow ceram um, ceramics and Tammuz. They Tammuzians. That's what I'm going to call them. Fucking Tammuzians. Right? It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, meaning this man can talk to you so smoothly. He'll make you believe what he say. It said he shall prosper. He's gonna prosper. Um, he was gonna make craft to prosper. Craft is is a uh, deceit. This man is the the king of deceit, man. Look how the whole earth following after him. He ain't nothing but a piece of shit, man. He's the wicked, the lowest fucking nation on the earth, man. It's true, man. But he got the whole earth following him, man. Cause he's the king of deceit. It says. The words of his mouth, America, Esau, the so-called white man, were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil. They come to you, oh, brother, I love you. Don't never believe them when they tell you they love you, man. Because they don't love you. Scriptures say, never trust thine enemies. Don't believe them when they tell you they love you. They love in word, man. That love, in, that, love that word love is really hate. says, but war was in his heart. His word was softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. So like when these, these Edomites come out, come out, well, go vote. You can change things. You know, you can, uh, you can make a difference. You know, you, you can make equality happen. You know, you could, uh, you know, Christ came to die for everybody. So everybody can make it to heaven. Morning. All right. Come as you are. You could be a homosexual, you know. You could be a sodomite. You could have sex with animals. You could be a murderer. But you can't commit. You can't. Uh, the one thing they don't put up with is uh, abortions. <laughs> you could do all these things. You know what I mean? But you know what? God loves you. And then you just got to. All you got to do is you got to keep our, our holidays our, on Thanksgiving. Our Christmas, you got to worship our gods. Well, we well we lied and said that they were the gods. They was the god of the Bible. We lied, but you got to worship our pagan gods. Christmas, Tammuz, Valentine's Day, uh, Cupid, <laughs> Easter, which is supposed to Easter supposed to be um Passover, but well, Easter, the fucking Easter Bunny, man, which goes back to Ceramis. Which Easter goes back to Ceramis. That's why you get the little egg. What the fuck is a bunny got to do with Easter? You get, that's why they got the bunny with Easter. And you get, a bunny represents fertility. All right? Ceramus was one of the fertility gods too. In the Babylonian um, pantheon. That's why on Easter you get the little Easter egg and you dip that shit in water. And then you pull it out, you paint, and then you paint it and decorate it. When ancient Babylon, when they would worship ceramics, they would get an egg as a, sim as a symbol. They would get an egg, and they would dip it in water, and they would decorate it because it was said that ceramics came out of the heavens to the earth in an egg, in an egg vessel, egg-shaped vessel into the um, Euphrates River. So that's why they that's why they practice that on Easter. So that's what I'm saying. This man is. This man, has, this man is deceitful, man. That's why the scriptures say their words are smoother than butter, but in their heart was war, man. Because all it goes down to is keeping us in slavery. 
because they know that. Let me get this scripture because they know that if we sin against our God, then we gonna we gonna be in slavery, man. They, they, you think these heathens, these other nations, don't know that? They know that. All right, get that, get the scripture to prove that point. Go to the book of Judith and the Apocrypha. Right, check it out. This is uh. This is uh Judah chapter uh five verse twenty it says. Now therefore, my lord and governor, if thou be any error in this, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. And let us go up in this, and we shall overcome them. But if there is no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them, and their God be with them, and we become a reproach um, before all. All right, verse, um, trying to get to the point. Judah chapter 11. Verse 10, it says, Therefore, O Lord, the governor and governor, reject not his word, but lay it up in thine heart, for it is true. For our nation shall not be punished, neither can the sword prevail against them, except they sin against their God. So this is why these heathens come at you with the smooth tongue, mainly Esau, with his smooth tongue. All right? Because he wants our nation to keep sinning. So that if our nation keeps sinning, guess what? We stay in slavery. But but what he don't realize is that the Most High is gonna deliver the elect anyways, anywhere it go. Jake can sin to to they can't sin no damn more. The Most High is still gonna deliver the elect. It don't matter what the hell goes on with the rest of these people. The Most High is gonna deliver the elect. So, but that's what they believe that. If they keep the nation of uh, Yasharala, Israel sinning, that guess what? The Most High won't deliver them. We'll keep them in slavery forever. But far be it from the Most High, man. That's not the way it's going to go. All right? But uh, back to 2nd Ezra chapter 11, verse 40 says, And the fort came, overcame all the beasts that were past and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with the sea. For the earth has thou not judged with truth. Right? Because we that's what we just went into. Wow, is this man ain't judged the earth with truth. He judged it with wickedness. And that's why the most I say he gonna destroy this man. Esau, so-called white man, America. Well all these nations, all these countries that the so-called white man in America, Russia, you know, all these fucking countries, man. Most I'm gonna destroy all the Edom. We usually prophesy against America, but guess what? The most I said prophesy against Seir, which is all the Esau, whether they be in England, fucking Russia, goddamn uh, Croatia, wherever the, you know, America, you know, wherever the hell they be at, man. Sweden, wherever they at. All right, okay. it says, for the earth has thou not judged with truth. All right, now I'm another scripture. All right, because the most I set this man up over the earth. That reminds me of two scriptures. Get, go back to Psalms real quick. Because this man picked up the Bible right during these times. These times right here. See this man right here. 
Esau picked up the Bible and that's why he was killing Native Americans because he wanted them to accept his way. He wanted them to, to worship the false pagan gods all right, that he worshiped disguised as the Bible. So they went and did what? They murdered the Native Americans, okay? All right, so this man picked up the Bible and he, what he was supposed to do with this Bible? He was supposed to do it to teach it the correct way if he was gonna do it. But he didn't. All right, so uh, we get the book of Psalms, chapter 50. Psalms chapter 50, verse 16, it says, But unto the wicked, God says, Now who is this wicked? Go to Malachi chapter 1, it tells you that Esau, the so-called white man, is the wicked. All right? We read to you in um, First Maccabees, I read to you in First Maccabees who the wicked was, who, who, who spread the wicked throughout the earth. The Greeks, which was the first empire of the so-called white man. All right, so it says, but unto the wicked, which is Esau, the so-called white man, God said, what hast thou to, de to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take it my covenant and I mouth? So the Most High is asking, what, what are they doing? to come out and declare the statutes of the most high the laws. Tell people not to commit, uh, not to do abortion because that's murder. What do they got to do with that? Or to take his covenant in their mouth, talking about everybody going to be saved. That's the covenant that the most high made with Israel, that he would take them out of captivity and that they would worship him with one and one consent, man. That's what he promised to Yasharala, Israel, us. So who are they to take his covenant into their mouth? And that are wicked. Verse 17, seeing thou hatest instruction and casteth my word behind thee. Because the, the scriptures is what? The scriptures is, is instruction of righteousness, man. When you read the New Testament thing is on um, Peter somewhere over there, it tells you that the scriptures is profitable for doctrine and instruction, man. The laws are instructions on how to live. All right. Even the New Testament is, in, is instructions on brothers how to deal with each other, how to live, and be and, and be delivered out of this kingdom, how to please the Most High. So what what do they do? Who are they to take the Most High's covenant, all right, as being the wicked, and then take it, and then don't follow the instructions and cast it behind their back, because that's what they do. I'll tell you, hey, you know, Jesus loves you, brother. Jesus loves everybody. But then two seconds later, they'll be eating them a pork sandwich. You know what I mean? Like, they'll do that. Jesus loves you, brother. The two seconds later, they'll be oppressing the Most High's people. Put his people in slavery when the Most High said his people were not supposed to be slaves. When the Most High said that after seven years you were supposed to re release a slave. Especially the Israelite. When the Most High said that you weren't supposed to charge interest. But this, this, this country is say that the Most High loves everybody. So that's what the most I say. Saying thou hatest instruction and casting my words behind thee, when thou sawest it thee, then thou committest uh, contenders with him and hast been partakers with the adulterers. Adulterers going back to the ancient Babylonians, 